IDX Chat is Realty Candy's newest feature. This is a chat system and a widget that is designed to be integrated completely with IDX Broker. You can add this widget not only on your IDX pages, but also on your website. It doesn't matter if you're using WordPress, Wix, Squarespace, or any website builder. And it's also possible to create new leads out of the people that send you a message on our chat widget. And you can also identify existing leads on it. So let me show you how our new IDX widget looks like. It looks like this. You can also change its color and it sticks no matter where you are on the site. While you're scrolling, it stays over here at the bottom. So this is the website that you would use um, to start using IDX chat. It's idx.chat. And all of IDX Chat's free features are available for all IDX Broker clients. You don't need to be a real Candy client. So you would log into IDX Broker, and this is the dashboard, and you would click on Access Control. You copy this API key, paste it here, and that's the key that you need to log in. What you see here is the portal for IDX Chat. Since this is our demo account, you can see a ton of test um, chats we have here. These are not real people, they're all tests, um, but this is more or less how the dashboard would look for you. So the first thing I'm going to show you is how to configure the widget on your site. So you would click on here where it says widget, and the first thing you need to choose is the shape. And then you can also choose the color of the chat box. I'm going to leave it blue for now. You can also choose the text. Um, right now it says, how can I help you by default, but you can make it say whatever you want. And this is the code snippet that you need to activate the widget. So this code snippet um, can be added to your IDX pages, but you can also add it to your website. So if you want to add it um, to your homepage or on any page that isn't related to IDX broker, you would add this to your footer. Um, on WordPress, Wix, or whichever website builder you're using and make it stick so that it always shows up over here. Then you would need to add this code to the IDX pages. So you would go here on design, website, and subheaders. And if you want um, the chat box to show up on all pages, you would just add in the code in the global section. If you want it to show up on specific pages, you can add it only on the results page, only on um, the map search page, et cetera. And uh, you can also add it to specific saved links if you'd like. Right now we have um, the code here. It's in the global section. So you would copy this code, paste it here. I'm not going to paste it again um, because it's already here, but make sure that when you're pasting it, you don't delete any of the code that you see here. You just paste it underneath and save the changes. You might see that when you go onto the section, it looks like this. If so, just click on turn WYSIWYG off to start adding um, this code and then click on save. So once you do that, um, the widget will show up here like it does on this demo site. And let me show you how chatting would work. So I'm going to make a fake lead for you. And imagine that I am a potential lead on your site and I'm asking you, hi, how can I save a property that I love? Start the chat. And I got a notification over here from Sophia Test on my portal. Hi, how can I save a property that I like? Since this is a new lead, um, we don't have any information about safe property, safe searches, et cetera. I'll repeat this example with an existing lead um, for you to see the difference. But right now, let me just reply. Hi, Sophia. You would click on the save property button on the details page. I can also save properties for you. Which one would you like to save? I made a typo over here. And I got the response um, 
from the broker or whomever works on the site here. And I can say, thank you. I figured it out. <laughs> or whatever. Um, the person might also ask for you to save the property for them. And one of the cool things about this is that you can send this to IDX broker to create a new lead and save the chat histories. So let me do that. So successfully saved new ID 199. So let me look for that lead over here. Sophia test. Um, I created a new lead out of this person that was chatting with us. And I can save a property for Sophia test over here. I can also save a search and I can also verify her account if, um, if that's what you'd like to do. She would also be getting a notification that an account has been created um, for her for this email. So what I will do next is I will create a saved search for Sophia test so that I can show you another cool feature. And I'm going to create a very simple one. So just properties between 500K and 1 million with three plus bedrooms. So I go back and I see that Sophia Test already has a saved search. And what I want to show you is what would happen if Sophia Test comes back and makes a search with this same email. So I'm on this incognito window. And I'm going to ask, hi, I'm interested in buying a property. Start the chat. So this is if Sophia Test comes back to the site, sends a message. So I get a notification over here from Sophia Test. And this is what I wanted to show you. Since I logged in with this email, and this is a person that has a saved search, the system registers this and it marks one safe search here. So you can click on it and it will take you to the existing lead, which is Sophia Test. It doesn't matter what um, first name and last name they add in. Um, if they have the same email, it will mark it as the same lead. You can also see their personal information. In this case, um, this person doesn't have much, but you can add a phone number here and save it. And that would be added to the lead, an address, city, et cetera. Um, you can see their ID, their um, property updates, their last login and their last activity. For example, here you can see that they've never logged in. So I could suggest um, logging into their account, seeing their safe searches, seeing if there's a property they like um, and going from there. Viewed listings, recently searched results and previous conversations, all of these tests that I've made with Sophia Test. Um, if they were to have view listings and recently search results, this is where they would show up. So let me just continue the conversation. Hi, Sophia. Have you logged into your account? Oh, I'm a type of layer. Oh, I'm doing that now. Perfect. No. Can you find like should save it and leave your information? And the whole history is over here for the lead and over here for the broker. Thank you so much. No problem. So this is me, the broker, and this is the lead. So imagine that this conversation is over and I wanna save this chat history. So I'll click on save. And if I go here on notes, I have uh, a note from IDX chat. And this is the conversation that Sophia had with the agent. It is saved over here. So if you wanna save any conversation, you just click on this button over here and it's going to show up here on previous conversations as well.
Um, make sure to check out IDX Chat. This is a very cool feature and it's one that um, lots of our clients had asked us about before. It's very easy to use and completely free. So take advantage of that. Um, it won't be easy to find a chat um, website and widget that integrates with IDX Broker. So um, go to idx.chat, log in with your IDX Broker API key and follow this video um, to get that widget configured on your site.